You mentioned the the challenges of working with two jurisdictions, and I know you've been looking at the issue of air passenger duty recently, where there's a, a very big difference in the rates being charged. How do you feel that that argument is progressing? Well, I think there's a commitment from Treasury to look uh, or to devolve the power. I think in relation to the long haul flights out of uh, Belfast International is where where, the, where those flights are located currently. Uh, and to, to, to take that rate back to zero. And I think that's to be welcomed. I mean, the, the direct connection between Belfast and North America is a very important one. And uh, I mean, studies show that when tourists land in a certain location, they're unlikely to go much beyond a 50 to 100 mile radius of the airport they land at. So I think it's important that Belfast has that connection so that the northern part of the island has that direct link. Uh, there are very strong argument being made because the, the air passenger duty in the south is three euro uh, and with some prospect, I think, at least been talked about of, of reducing that back to zero, as has been done in, in other European countries, Holland and uh, various European countries who had introduced air passenger duty, duty have realised that it is actually damaging their economy and have uh, removed it again. So that seems to be the, the direction of travel for the, the Dublin government. Uh, and I think that will present challenges uh, for the North. So there is a strong lobby in our discussion about the long haul flights. There's a very strong lobby coming forward from business, from the airport managers themselves and across society that we should be looking at the entirety of flights uh, into Belfast City and Derry, Belfast International uh, and looking at air passenger duty across the full range because the, the long haul flights only really make up a very small percentage of the total flights that come in, come in and out of the north. And uh, so I think that's certainly something that the committee that I chair uh, has very strong interest in and whether that's feasible in the window of opportunity that now presents itself in relation to the long haul flights uh, or not, I think it's something certainly the Assembly and the Executive need to be mindful of in the future.